Hello everyone, so today I'm going to be showing you every single phone or tablet or whatever. As you can see, I have tablets over here that I've gotten from phones. Well, I've done two of these videos previously, and obviously if you, those were a really long time ago, and if you check those videos, this is, it's grown a lot more since those videos, like a lot. So yeah, the, I'm just going to say, since you know, I've actually branched out in the past last thing like nine months is the last time I made one of these I've actually branched out I don't just go to Target's anymore I go to like Wegmans, at and just I don't know any other place as a phone man so I'm gonna, when I pick out these devices I'm gonna say which or what place I got it from what's wrong with it or whatever and obviously that and uh, yeah so yeah this is probably gonna be a long video because you can see that's pretty full so yeah it's gonna be a long video so I guess I'll just stop here this is a HTC Droid Incredible. I found this in the Target bin, my local Target. Uh, it works perfectly fine, it's just dead right now, and it's kind of dirty because it's been sitting on my floor. So, yeah. This, I, uh, this is obviously from my most recent video. This is an LG Leon. Uh, it has a destroyed LCD, and I have no idea if it turns on, nor do I really care to know if it turns on because it doesn't have a battery anyway. And these are in obviously no particular order because this is pretty much my box is my home for phone and finds. So here's a Droid Motorola Droid 3. I don't know if it works because it doesn't have a battery. I'm assuming it does have a battery, but not. No, I mean I'm assuming it does work because it shows the Motorola logo when I plug it in. So yeah, this is a ZTE Zenata 3. This one works, but it's a good Glock. I have not been bothered to bypass it, nor do I really think I will because I don't really care. Here's a Galaxy Grand Prime. It has a oh, Target, uh, all these Target bin so far. This one's an also another Target bin one. Um, bad LCD, bad charging port. Got this from the Target bin. And it's a Cricut Galaxy Grand Prime. Galaxy S5. Found this in the Target bin. This was my long, this was my best find for the longest time. But uh, that. I mean, this doesn't even work anymore. I got literally just one day just to stop the working. I can't really explain. I've tried like several different batteries on this phone and just won't work again. I don't know. <laughs> it's really weird. But, yeah. Here is a iPhone 5C. Found this in the Target Mint. Um, it's mint condition. It was reset when I found it, so it was not iCloud locked. 16 gigabyte white. I think it's on Verizon. And it came with this outer box case, and it's a really nice phone. That was probably one of my more favorite finds. Here is my Samsung Galaxy Note 5. Now, I found this in a Target bin in Florida, near where my grandma lives in Florida. Um, now, this was Google Lock, but I bypassed it. But this Note 5 is a dead digitizer. I can't really... It's dead right now. It came with this outer box case, and the S Pen's kind of stuck in the phone. But yeah, it has, a, it has a dead digitizer. I can't, I don't really know why, but it just does, which kind of sucks because it would be like a really good Note 5 if it didn't, but whatever. Here's a Galaxy Amp 2. This one works perfectly fine. Oh, it's actually charged right now. Uh, see, it works perfectly fine. It's on Android 6. This was found recently, actually, along with a few of the other ones. All right, so this is a LG Volt or Optimus Volt. I don't know exactly what it's called, but this does work. But see, it works, but that's completely stuck in, and the power button's kind of sticky. It still works though. It's just kind of weird. I guess this was really like sticky and gross when I found this. I was able to clean most of it off, but it permanently affected the power button and the home button. So it's whatever. Here is a. I already forgot the name of this phone. It's a Samsung Intercept. That's the name. Uh, I don't know what this one's doing. Yeah, but it works. It's on Android 2, I think. I don't really know. I, I never use it. Here's an LG something. I think it's an Envy something. I don't know if it works. I don't have the charger for it. It looks like it would probably work if I had to guess, but I don't really know. Now, I, this is a weird thing. I don't even remember finding this, but I think I did. It's I don't even know what this is. It looks like a ZT Valet or something like that. I don't know. It runs the Android 4.1.2. I really don't know what phone this is. It literally just 
appeared in my phone box one day. I don't even remember finding this. But yeah, it works. Here's this consumer cellular flip phone. It's a Doro flip phone. I don't, this one doesn't have a battery, but I found another one that does have a battery. It might be in this box somewhere, I don't know, to be honest, but I do have a red one, I know that. Here's this little Motorola phone. I have no idea what it's called. Uh, I, yeah, I think it works. I don't know if I have the charger. I don't think I do, but I don't know. I would assume it works. Here's a Sony Xperia E4. This one's water damaged and it doesn't really work because it's water damaged. So when I plug it in, it shows the red LED light. That's pretty much all it does. As you can see that the water indicator is red. It had the sticker on it when I found it and it didn't have the back cover. So yeah. Here is a Galaxy S3. Also, I don't, wait, hold on, let me think here. Yeah, every single one of these so far I found in the Target bin, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, every single one of, I think I keep forgetting to say where I get them from, but everything so far has been found in the Target bin. This one was also found in the Target bin. This is a Verizon Galaxy S3. It worked perfectly fine, just it didn't come with a battery, so I have to put a battery from one of my other S3s in here. But otherwise, it does work perfectly fine, but it does have cracked camera glass, so... Here's an iPhone 5. This is also found at the Target bin. It's a 32 gigabyte black, obviously. This one's iCloud locked, unfortunately. And here's such a weird thing that happened with that phone. When I found it, it didn't have a passcode, but it had an iCloud account on it. But then, like, literally just randomly, when I was, like, trying to delete all the person's stuff off of it, it literally just reset. Well, not, like, it went to the Apple logo and, like, you know, did a reset thing and whatever, and it became... It was on the setup screen, and it became iCloud blocked. I'm not even exactly sure how that happened. Maybe the person, like, wiped it, saw me using it, and then they, like, wiped it or something. I don't know. That's probably what happened. Here's an iPhone 6. This was found... This was also another find from the Target bin in Florida. Uh, this one's iCloud blocked. And the screen's popping off, and it's, like, a pretty bad screen. This is a really trashy iPhone 6. Actually, no, this isn't the exact. I swapped housings. Like, I swapped motherboards and housings with another iPhone 6 that didn't have a screen, but this one does have a screen. Because this one had a SIM card, so I was going to try and contact the owner, and, uh, well, he never got back to me. So I'm still counting that as a target for fine. Here is this posh one. I don't even know what model this is. I think it's pretty self explanatory what's wrong with this. this I also found a target. Um,. Bad LCD, and it's a dual SIM phone, so I'm not sure how it ended up here, but it did. So, yeah, this one's pretty garbage. Uh, here's probably one of my favorite. This probably is my favorite Target been find, or just phone been find, John. Here's my Galaxy S7. Hold on, let me turn the brightness up, because you can't really see it. Uh, there we go. Yeah, this is my favorite phone find because I really like the flat S7. I've always wanted to find an S7 in the phone bin, and now I did. And the crazy story about this one, if you didn't see the video, is this one had a passcode when I found it, and I actually guessed the password right. It was 2580, so I just went into the settings and reset it, so that saved me a lot of work from trying to bypass the Google lock on this, which I'm not even sure if there is a bypass for the S7 on Android 8, so that's pretty crazy. And here is this infamous iPhone 5S. This is like, this was... Not my first target and find, it was my second target and find. I found an LG introvert or extrovert or something like that first, but I st destroyed that. But this is the earliest target and find that I still had. This is my second one. It's iCloud locked now. Um, I actually wanted to do a restoration on this 5S just because it's very sentimental to me because it's like my... This is also, when I found this, was like a really good target and find. It's like the equivalent of finding an iPhone 7 when I found it. So this was like a really good find when I found it. Another story with this one. This one had a passcode when I found it and an iCloud account. I guess the password right. I don't remember what it was. I think it was 2580, like the S7. And I reset it anyways on iTunes because I thought that I got the password right. It wouldn't become iCloud locked. Well, it did. So, stupid me. Here is an iPhone 4S. This one works perfectly fine. Um... Wait, hold on. Yep. I think... I still think everything here... I found this at a Target bin... That's like an hour away from me. Uh, everything here, I think, has still been found at Target, so we're good on that track record. Um, 
Hold on a minute. This works completely fine. It just has a cracked screen. It was on the setup screen when I found it. It's on iOS 8. It's a 16 gigabyte. And uh, yeah. There's a Samsung Gusto 3. And it's a like really dirty and gross case. I'm pretty sure this one also works completely fine. I'm not sure. I don't remember where I found this actually. I think it was like Target or Wetmans or something. Um, yeah. Here is an iPod Nano 5th gen. I found this in the Target room. I don't think I ever made a video on this because I found this is the only thing I found when I was in there. So I don't think I ever made a video on this, but it has a I don't know if you can tell from the screen, but it has a very bloated battery, which causes the screen to be messed up and it only works when it's plugged in. It is I'm not sure how many gigabytes this is actually, but it does work. You can clearly see it's a fifth gen because it has the camera. Here's this Blackberry Pearl. I don't know exactly what number it is, but I'm pretty sure this one works. I just need a charger for it. I don't remember. I think I found this at a Target. That was found at Target, too. Here's a Moto E5 Cruise. Uh, this one works, too. It's just dead. It's in near mint condition. This is a pretty nice phone. On that, at another Target, like an hour away from the Dazier. Also found this with Dazier. And... Yeah, I think that's it. All right, now onto the first AT&T find. This is an iPhone 5S Silver, 16 gigabyte. Um, FMI off. This was on the setup screen. I found it. It had a bloated battery when I found it. I replaced the battery, and now this battery is becoming bloated again. Which I don't know if this 5S just bloats batteries or what, but it's bloating again. So, yeah. Here's this blue phone. I don't know what model it is, and it wasn't cracked when I found it. Uh, I found this in the Wegmans bin, at like a Wegmans I've only been to once, and the crack was actually caused by me because I hit it with a knife on the side because I was bored. And it's a really slow and terrible phone. The battery, it came with a battery, but the battery did not work for some reason. Like I, I don't know. Like the charging port works fine, just that the battery did not work for some strange reason. So. Yeah, digitizer might not work on, on this now, but I really don't care. This phone's terrible, but it's a dual SIM phone, so that's something. All right. Yeah, that was Wegmans. This is a Galaxy Avant. I found this. This was another find I found in Target in Florida. Uh, this one is slightly water damaged, and the battery did not. I found with this did not work because I put in another battery from another phone, and it worked perfectly. I don't think that your port is full of any gunk because I'm pretty sure I charged it with that battery and it worked completely fine. If I, just need, if I just bought a new battery for this phone, it would work perfectly fine. It's a Galaxy Vent. Here is a Virgin Mobile Kyocera Event, I think. This is a really bad phone. And if I. The hinges are actually broken on this phone. See, the hinges are broken completely, and the only thing that's holding the screen onto the phone is, like, the ribbon cable for the screen. So that's crazy. This is, like, a, this is a really bad phone. It's, like, an Android 4, and it, like, can barely even run its own OS. So, yeah. Here's a Samsung Captivate Glide. It's pretty much the S1, I think, with a slide-out keyboard. It's on AT&T. I put in, actually... The Galaxy S1 battery fits in here perfectly, so I just put a, and it, this didn't come with the battery when I found it, so I just put a Galaxy S1 battery in here and it worked perfectly. Um, yeah, it works perfectly fine. It's a pretty nice phone. Here's a Motorola, another Motorola Droid 3. This one still doesn't have a battery, but I'm assuming this one works too because it still shows the Motorola, Motorola logo. Yeah, I think the rest of the things I've showed have been found at Target. Um... Here's a gross LG phone. I found this at Target. I don't know if it works or not. I don't think it does because of how bad condition it's in. Didn't come with a battery or anything, and yeah, it's just pretty gross and crap. Here's an HTC uh, One X. It's HTC One X. I found this in the Target at floor, but this was the year prior. I found like a Note 5 and everything else. It was at the same exact Target. Uh, this one worked when I found it, but like literally just one day the screens died on this thing, so I opened it up, and when I opened it up, like, it, I pretty much just destroyed it, because I did a really bad job. See, the volume button's missing. I'm surprised. I think I, this was popped out, but I was able to put it back in, but yeah, this thing's like pretty much ruined now, because I, when I tried to open it. Here's my iPhone 6, 16 gigabyte. I really like this phone. Um, I found this in the AT&T bin with Deja. 
Uh, yeah, it works perfectly fine. I had I just had this case for an iPhone 6 lying around, so I decided, yeah, screw it, I'll just put it on here. I had to put uh, packing tape over, like, the severely cracked area so it wouldn't, like, get glass everywhere. And this one works completely fine. I really like this phone. It just has a cracked screen. Now, this is probably, like, my best phone been fine. This is my iPhone 7 matte black 128 gigabyte. I did put a glass screen protector on it because the aftermarket screen felt, like, really bad. And this, for people that still don't believe, that this is 128 gigabytes. It's on... I see 128 gigabyte. It is on, uh, 12.2. Yeah, I found this in the AT&T, but along with the iPhone 6 and, like, some other things, I think. All right. This is a Motorola Droid Max 2. This is a really nice phone. I found this at the Target bin. I put some of my apps and crap on here. Um, yeah, it works perfectly fine. It just has a cracked screen. The battery's not too good on this, but I can uh, get that replaced or just replace it myself. I don't know, even though it doesn't have a removable battery. All right, this is an LG. I forget the name of this phone, but it's an LG phone. It runs Android 5. It's like severely cracked, but it still works completely fine. It's dead right now, but it does work completely fine. It's in like really bad condition, but yeah, I found this in the Target bin. Uh, here's an LG 840G. I don't know. I know I'm pretty sure this one works. It's just dead right now, but I found this in the Lowe's bin actually, which is my own Lowe's bin find because there's not many Lowe's around here that actually recycle phones. Here's a. Verizon G Zone or GZ1, however you say it. Uh, these are like indestructible flip phones. I'm pretty sure I found this in the Target bin. It would open, I don't know. Oh, there we go. And I really like this phone. It's a nice phone. Uh, these are like super rugged, like flip phones are pretty cool. Here's an Alcatel One Touch Fierce. I really like this phone for some reason, even though it's not a good phone at all. It runs Android 4.2.2. I found this was also found at the Target bin in Florida. Uh, yeah, it's mint condition. It works completely fine. I've actually found an I, I, an exact found two of these, but the other one had a cracked screen and like a messed up touch screen. But I traded that one to my friend, uh, so that works. Um, here's a Samsung flip phone with a broken LCD. I'm pretty sure. I'm not even sure why this is still in my collection. That that one's gone. Here's a Nokia. I have no. I think I found this in the Target bin, but like the screen's full of gunk, which it wasn't when I found it. But that's me. Yeah, this, I don't have the charger for this one. I think it works because I think I actually had charge when I found it. Here's another Motorola phone. I have no idea if this one works. I don't have the charger for this one either. And the last phone in this box is a BlackBerry. Uh, curve. I don't know the exact model, but this one works perfectly fine. It's actually slightly water damaged. It's kind of just weird. I found this at the Target bin. All right, now on to the tablets. Jesus this is a long. This is gonna be a long video. All right, here is a Galaxy Tab Three. This one's dead. And it's Tab Three, seven inch. It's cracked. I found this in the Wegman's bin with Dejer. Well, actually, he did, but he just gave it to me. So I'm counting it that I found it. Because uh, I was with him when he pulled it out and he just gave it to me. Uh, this one works fine. It's just a really, like, really bad tablet. It's really slow. It works fine. It's just dead. Here's a uh, Amazon Fire. Wait, hold on. Actually, I'm not sure if this is the one I found. But I found a one that was identical to this. And I don't know where it went. I'm pretty sure. Wait, is this it? No, this is a different one. But I found one identical to this. Like, in the Target bin a while back. Uh, here is a Galaxy Tab 4 8-inch. This one I found in the Target bin also. This one works completely fine. Oh, turned on actually, even though I haven't charged it in forever. And this is my most recent Target bin finds. These are the two iPad 2s. This one is a black iPad 2, 16GB. It has a bloated battery, which destroyed the screen. As the LCD is just dead on this thing, and if you can kind of tell, you can't really see on the camera, but... Yeah, that one's dead. And here's the white iPad 2, 64 gigabyte, that has a bad digitizer, as you can see. If you want more details on these, then just watch my second newest video, which will be when I upload this video. 
Okay, these are all of my phone been finds. This is a really long video, so yeah. Yeah. I'll probably just make another one of these in like a year or something. I'll probably just like make these like every six months or yearly or something. I really don't know, but yeah.